Innovate UK investment has significantly improved the lives of people in Glasgow. The community engagement is really important to us. Things like the hackathons, things like the engagement hubs really took it beyond a boardroom level in the council and really brought the project out into the, the wider world. The walking and cycling apps have made it easier for people to move around the city. So the idea of the cycling app is to enable citizens of Glasgow who are cycling around the city to generate data that the council can then use to improve infrastructure and create a better environment for cyclists. The My Glasgow app has been really successful in terms of people uh, reporting issues in the city, whether it be fly tipping or a road fault. They can report a problem through the app and then the council then go away and fix the problem and tell them when it's been done. I think one of the most successful projects we've had was about thinking about a predicting crime in future and the outcome. The outcome has been that we've got a new approach to how to keep reducing crime in the city by changing street lighting. The Operations Centre was at the heart of the Future City Glasgow programme. Improvements include enhanced public space cameras, better traffic management and the emergency services can respond quicker. So one of the primary differences I've seen is the, the traffic flow and you notice that whenever there's emergency services vehicles that the traffic lights will green all the way down the road so that they can get through. We have run a number of initiatives and targeted specific groups within the community. This has included meeting with the elderly, with local residents and the GAP community group. The main clientele that was using the database was people coming into recovery for addictions. The overwhelming fear of people walking into a new environment once they've put down drugs and, and alcohol. So it's important that they know where they're going, what time, the places they're going is on it. And Future City sort of brought it to life. We turned it into a website. Which I thought was a really good idea because I had been through recovery myself. And it's not just about recovery as well, it's like a community centre on the computer. So as part of Future Cities, one of the initiatives was about how do you get more young people upskilled in digital technology. So we ran a series of workshops across the summer that was about getting more young people to try out digital for the first time and make their own things. It's inspiring that next generation of digital makers, realising that citizens shouldn't just be consumers of technology, but they can be makers of it as well.